Let's take a second and review the top 10 biggest home sales in Quincy in 2022. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses and I'm one of the state's top agents. Let me know if you have any real estate questions because I'm here to help. So on to the top 10. Number 10, the property located at 63 Crabtree Road is nestled on more than a half acre lot in Squanum. It has stunning views of Quincy Bay as it is perched high above, but also has a deeded right of way to ocean access. The house itself was a four bedroom, two full and three half bath home that was 1,908 square feet. When people say location, 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 this is what they're talking about. This top 10 sale was for the location and what the property can be with a great vision. The seller's asking price and the sale price was $1.5 million. Number nine, the home at 151 Hucking Avenue is located in Squatham and is a four bedroom, three and a half bath home spanning 2,940 square feet. This home was built in 2009 and is stunning. Inside this home sports an open floor plan with gleaming hardwood floors throughout. The updated kitchen is adorned with stainless steel appliances, granite countertops, and ceramic subway tile backsplash. Upstairs, you're gonna find four bedrooms and two full baths while the master bedroom has stunning ocean views and a new bathroom with a glass surround shower and sea glass floor that is edged in quartz. Outside is where your private oasis has an in-ground heating swimming pool and hot tub. All of this plus a phenomenal location that is a short stroll from the beach. The seller's asking price was $1.499 million and the sale price was $100 over that asking price for an even $1.5 million. Number eight, the home at 125 Dorchester Street was built in 2017 and has four bedrooms and two and a half baths. The house is 2,472 square feet and has a modern interior that was designed for entertaining. The second level is where the action is in this home as it has the kitchen, living, and dining areas. Having the living levels on the second floor allows for some stunning water and city views. The chef-inspired kitchen features a large island with quartz counters and gorgeous fixtures throughout. The large living room has a gas fireplace and opens to a large private balcony. The primary suite offers a luxury in-suite bathroom, large walk-in closet, gas fireplace, and a private balcony with more exceptional views. Now the seller's asking price was $1.675 million and the sale price was $1.6 million. Number seven, this Marina Bay condo is located on the eighth floor and spans 2,396 square feet with two bedrooms and two and a half baths. This Marina Point condo has stunning views of the Boston skyline and ocean views and it is located on the eighth floor of the West Tower. Inside, you're gonna find gleaming hardwood floors throughout and a kitchen with granite countertops and stainless steel appliances. Now, the best part of this unit may just be the private granite paver deck that is open to the sky and expands the entire length of the home. This this deck is accessible from the living room, dining room, as well as the primary bedroom. Amazing afternoon sun and stunning sunsets is what you're going to see here. This is a full service building with 24 hour concierge, while this unit also has two garage parking spaces. Now the seller's asking price was $1.7 million and the sale price was $1,675,000. Number six, the home at 156 Crabtree Road is a four bedroom, three full bath home that is nestled on a half acre in Squanum. Now what makes this house so special is the water front access that overlooks Quincy Bay. This specific house was a little over 2,500 square feet, but was really built as a lot to build a new home on. In looking at the house, I felt it was pretty nice. Definitely needed some updates, but a nice place nonetheless. I can see how the thought was that the current house on this lot underutilized the land, but the seller's asking price was $1.75 million and the sale price was $1,700,000. Number five, and right down the street from the fifth most expensive house is 142 Crab Tree Road. This home is a three bedroom, two and a half bath house that is nestled on 0.76 waterfront acres. It has 2,476 square feet above grade with a combined 3,290 square feet when you factor in the finished basement. Now this house was built as another tail down because the views, they're just stunning. The seller's asking price was $2.3 million with the sale price coming in at $2,211,000. Number four, the home at 935 East Squanum Street is located in Squanum and is a four bedroom from five full bath and one half bath house. Now this newly constructed home in 2021 was built with the highest quality construction and finishes. The first floor features an open floor plan that is perfect for entertaining while having a gourmet kitchen, gas fireplace, and an expansive deck. This home actually has two primary suites, one on the first floor and another one on the second floor. All bedrooms are adorned with their own private bath. And there's another bonus room with full bath and a separate staircase that would be a perfect for an all pair or in-law suite. It could also be used 
for something fun, like a game room, or boring, but well, necessary, like a home office. The finished basement offers more space that consists of a home gym, theater, or playroom. The seller's asking price, which was also the sales price, was $2,388,000. Number three, the home at 101 Bellevue Road is also located in Squam and is a five bedroom, five full and one half bath home that is 5,500 square feet. This home was built in 2017 by a premier luxury builder. The kitchen features seating for five at the expansive island and was built with custom built cabinets and thermidor refrigerator as well as a chef stove. In the living room, you're gonna find a wood burning fireplace and tray ceilings with lighting features. On the second floor, there are four generously sized bedrooms and three full baths. Now the upper floor is actually where you're gonna find the luxurious master suite and spa-like bathroom with therapy tub and sauna with rainfall shower. All of this plus a finished walkout basement with full bath plus panoramic ocean and city views. Now the seller's asking price was $2,299,000 with the sales price being $2,250,000. And number two, if you want waterfront, then you got it here. The home at 144 Shore Avenue is a three bedroom, three full bath home that is on the water. Built in 2012, this is 3,235 square foot house that is nestled on one acre lot. Now on the main floor, you're gonna find an open layout with gleaming hardwood floors that opens to a scenic back deck. The kitchen sports granite counters and stainless steel appliances, plus a large island. The deck though, <laughs> it's just awesome. Upstairs, you're gonna find the huge master bedroom with another amazing bathroom balcony, walk-in closet, and jacuzzi tub. The seller's asking price was $2,999,000, and this home had a sales price of $2,688,000. Number one, and we're back to Crabtree Road in Squam. Holy mother of pearl, is this house nice? The home at 124 Crabtree Road is a seven bedroom, five full and one half bath home that when including the finished basement is 6,851 square feet. Now the panoramic ocean views are amazing. The custom built chef's kitchen has too many features to list. It's big, it's beautiful and it's top of the line. The appliances, while well, they're top of the line, commercial grade stainless steel appliances, granite countertops and a huge kitchen island. It's an open layout that takes every advantage of the amazing views. Beautiful tray ceilings in the living room, plus one of the nicest offices that I think that I have ever seen to round out that main floor. A huge master suite with a walk-in closet that is the size of a Beacon Hill condo, plus a bathtub that really eh, identifies as a pool. The lower level features a full service bar, entertaining area, in-home gym, wine storage room, and a separate home theater. Then there's the outside to really knock this one out of the park. The house has a 200 plus foot dock, fully equipped tiki bar, jet ski lift, gunite pool, and docking ramp. The seller's asking price was $4,800,000 with a sales price of $4,450,000. Now it doesn't matter if you're looking for a house like these or a smaller one, or well, even a lot smaller one. And whether you're looking to buy or sell in the next nine or 90 days, well then, I'm your guy. I'd love to chat with you. All of my contact information, it's in the description below. You can also reach out to me at YouTube to realestateagent.com. Again, my name is Jeffrey Chubb and I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time.